What if everyone who attended our Christmas Eve gatherings had the opportunity to serve others, to help local people right here in our own backyard? This will happen through what we are calling the Backyard Initiative. The goal is to invite everyone in attendance to make a one-time offering that will in turn be distributed to three local programs. These include projects at Shodare Children's Hospital, the Lewis and Clark County Treatment Court, and Bryant Elementary School. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Craig Crawford. I'm the principal here at Bryant Elementary in Helena. This school building that I'm in right now is 80 years old. It is one of the new buildings that we'll be building here in Helena. This is one of 11 elementary schools in Helena, and for my kids, they didn't know that the other 10 buildings had gymnasiums attached to their building. They thought everybody had to walk through the wind and the rain and the snow to get to PE like they do here. It's not been our most affluent of elementary schools. We are 100% free and reduced lunch in this building. That means we provide breakfast and lunch to each of the students in this building each day because they demonstrate financial need to have that. And for us, we're looking for how do we provide opportunities for these kids. And so the money that we would get from this evening will go to provide opportunities for kids. One of the things we're looking at doing is taking our fourth graders on an overnight trip to Yellowstone. They'll do science experiments and other things down there at Yellowstone. And for many of our kids, this would be the only opportunity they would ever have uh, to go to Yellowstone. We will provide other opportunities throughout the year to have visiting artists come in from the Holter or the Myrna Loy. We provide coats for kids here, meals for kids and their families. Oftentimes we'll provide a tank of gas for some of the families here so they can help get their kids to and from school because sometimes those hardships pop up. So whatever you're doing this evening, know that you're gonna be changing the lives of kids because that money will go to providing them opportunities that they would not have without the money that you'll be providing towards this. My name is Jim Reynolds and I'm the presiding judge in the Lewis and Clark and Broadwater County Treatment Court. The drug courts are an alternative process to help people overcome addiction issues and criminal behavior. We work with people whose chemical dependency issues have brought them into contact with the criminal justice system. We help them overcome their chemical dependency issues and help them become productive, positive members of our community, which is a great savings to the community. It costs about $15 a day for a person to be in drug court as opposed to about $150 a day to keep someone in prison. Our program would benefit from the support of the community because we have a lot of needs that our budget simply does not allow us to meet in order to be the most effective treatment court that we can be. We need to be able to reward our people for their successes. Many of them have had very limited positive influences in their lives, and so rewarding them, simple things as candy bars or a gift card or a gas card can make a difference in these people's lives. We don't reward people for failure. You know, we are not an easy program. We push people, we make them get their GEDs, we make them get jobs, we make them stay involved in positive treatment. It is a successful program, not completely, no program is, but it is having some success with regard to people who are otherwise going to be in prison. I'm Jen and I'm a nurse at Shodare Children's Hospital where we serve kids who are in the middle of an acute mental health crisis. Our mission at Shodare is to heal, help, and inspire hope in the kids, families, and communities all across Montana. During the Christmas season, we have a unique opportunity to really build hope and connection. We are really intentional about getting to know them, finding out what they like, and providing a Christmas experience to them that is relevant and personal and meaningful. And so what we're able to do with the generous donations from Narrate is to provide all of our kids with really individualized gifts that are meaningful to them and meet their interests. And you know, it's really not about the gift. It's about showing our kids that no matter who they are or what's happened to them, that they are worthy of connection and meaningful relationships and that they are worthy of being heard. And that's really the catalyst that builds hope and connection at Shodare.